This may seem like a typical youth basketball game, but what happened here is anything but ordinary. Everybody has the ball, zigzag dribbling layups on both ends. At New Prospect School in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, Coach Katie Busby is teaching these girls much more than the rules of the game. Slide, slide, don't play defense with your arms, play defense with your feet. Coaching comes naturally to Katie. She was a basketball star in high school, one of Tennessee's top players. But when I went to college, I played at Vanderbilt and I rarely got off the bench. I practiced just as hard and just as long as everybody else and rarely got to get in and enjoy the games. And at that point, you know, you just, you figure out what's important in life. Read, pivot, pass. Today, Coach Busby's mission is to make sure that every girl at the school who wants to play ball gets her turn on the court, even Abigail Kidd. Born with Down syndrome and a host of serious medical problems, Abigail had open heart surgery when she was just five months old. Doctors told her parents she wouldn't live past one, but Abigail fought back. Today, she's 12, healthy, happy, and obsessed with basketball. A fact her teacher, Katie Busby, couldn't help but notice. So I said, well, do you want to play on the, the team with the girls? And she said, I'll be the mascot? I said, no, you want to play? She said, yeah, I'll play. So, uh, you know, it was just, and from that second on, she's been a player. Abigail's parents were thrilled that their daughter made the team and that she'd get to participate in the practices. And they figured that she'd spend most of the games on the bench. But her coach had other plans. Abigail's dad had his video camera rolling for his daughter's first ever basketball game. He was shocked when Coach Busby put her in, and he won't believe what happens next. At the throw-in, one of Abigail's teammates unexpectedly passes her the ball. Excited, Abigail starts running. This, of course, is against the rules, but the refs stay silent and the girls stand back. Abigail takes a shot and misses. She thinks she's done, but the players encourage her to try again. And again. And again. Finally, on her sixth try. It's so close. Come on, girl. Against the odds, Abigail scores her first ever basket on a regulation goal. That cheering you hear in the background, that's Abigail's mom. I, I can't explain the, the happiness. You know, I, I didn't, I, I try not to set limitations on my daughter. I try to follow her but I didn't think she'd be able to do that. Everybody was clapping for Abigail and everybody was cheering Abigail on to actually make it. And it just, God just took that ball and put it through the goal. That's all, the only explanation I have for that night. Abigail has her own ideas. My friends have helped me. Her friends helped her. Yeah. And how does that make you feel in your heart? Happy. Coach Busby is teaching these girls more than the rules of the game. Winning and losing is important. Uh, winning and losing, being competitive is important in life, in everything that you do. But there's lots more important things. Um, being a friend, having the um, understanding that everyone brings something positive to the table. And uh, you know, God has blessed all of us with Abigail. For Cafe Mom, I'm Lindsay Ferrier.